well, I, okay, I did my best. What's up guys, Mr. Joey here. Welcome to RPK. You know, we have a lot to do today and I am so glad that you are here for our last week in our construction zone month in the clubhouse. We've had so much fun this month learning all about God's power. Tell me, who is powerful? You got it, God is powerful. That was awesome. There's no giant too big, no mountain too tall. No one is more powerful than God. And in fact, the Bible teaches us that great is our Lord and mighty in power. We've had a whole month to learn this verse and I know you will remember it when you need it most. Hey, do you guys like my, my vest and my hat? This looks exactly like what the crew driving those big trucks wear every day. Pretty cool, right? They wear a hat and vest like this for protection. Check this out, you like it? Pretty cool, right? You know, this vest is super bright. When I wear it, people can see me and make sure that they don't like bump into me. And see, see how hard this hat is? It protects me so that anything that falls on my head from up high isn't gonna hurt me. So cool, right? These things are very important for the construction crew members to wear so that they stay protected. Do you like watching construction crews build? It, it's pretty awesome to watch, right? All of the machines that they use are really powerful but they're not as powerful as someone we've been talking about. I can't wait to hear one more story about how powerful God is. So let's go to the clubhouse and do the three things we do together every week. First, we'll do our memory verse. Second, we'll sing and dance to worship songs. And third, we'll hear a true story from the Bible. And I'll be back at the end so we can pray together. See you guys in a bit. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147.5 Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
get scared sometimes So I cover my eyes But that's so silly Cause God is always with me So I stand up tall for a big day, are you? I sure am, Ollie. I have to wear this hat and vest so it will protect me when I go see the construction up close. A hard hat can protect you. It's true. But I know someone special who protects you, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hey friends, I'm Justin the Mailman, and I am so glad to see you because, whoa, do I have a great story for you today. Are you ready for it? Well, let me put the story mail in the mailbox and... Uh, 
there we go. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Daniel. Daniel loved God and prayed to him every day. Daniel worked for King Darius, and King Darius liked Daniel, and they were friends. But this made some other guys very jealous and grumpy. Yep, see? They are mean and grumpy. They wanted to get Daniel in trouble so the king wouldn't like him anymore. So they made a tricky plan. They tricked the king into making a law that no one could pray to anyone but him. The law said that everyone had to pray to the king. If they prayed to anyone else, they would be thrown into a den of hungry lions. Let me hear your best lion roar. Ready? One, two, three, roar! Wow! You were some scary lions. What was Daniel going to do? If he prayed to God like he did every day, he could be thrown to the lions. What do you think Daniel did? Do you think he stopped praying to God? No, Daniel did not stop praying to God. Daniel knew God was more powerful than anything and that God wanted him to pray. So. He kept praying to God every day. The mean, grumpy guys saw Daniel and went to tell the king that Daniel was praying to God and not the king. The new law said Daniel had to be thrown to the lions. The king had been tricked. He was not happy. He didn't want to throw his friend Daniel in with the lions, but that's what the law said. The king said to Daniel, I'm so sorry, Daniel. I hope your God protects you. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The next morning, the king ran to the den and called, Daniel, did your God protect you from the lions? Yes! Woohoo! Daniel is okay. Wow! God is so powerful. He protected Daniel from the lions. Now you tell me, was God more powerful than the king? Yes. Was God more powerful than the hungry lions? Yes. God is so powerful. God protected Daniel and he has the power to protect us too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God's power protected Daniel from the lions, and God's power can protect us too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Daniel had to spend the night with those scary lions. But God's power protected him. God's power is so awesome. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. You get it? Got it. Good. I'm going to go see the construction site. And I know God's power is going to go with me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh, that was incredible. Hey, I loved singing worship songs with you and learning our story for today. Do you remember who our story was about? Yeah, you got it, Daniel. Daniel loved God and prayed to him every day. Daniel worked for King Darius. King Darius liked Daniel and they were friends, but this made some of the other guys jealous and grumpy. Daniel did not stop praying to God though, Daniel knew that God was more powerful than anything and that God wanted him to pray. So we kept praying to God every day. The mean grumpy guys saw Daniel and went to tell the king that Daniel was praying to God and not the king. And the new law said that Daniel had to be thrown to the lions. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den and he was in the lion's den all night long. The next morning, the king ran to the den and called Daniel. 
did your God protect you from the lions? And guess what happened? Daniel was okay. God is so powerful. He protected Daniel from the lions. Now, you tell me, was God more powerful than the king? Yes, of course he was. God was way more powerful than the hungry lions. God is so powerful. He protected Daniel and he has the power to protect us too. So tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. So let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Father God, we thank you for all the incredible stories that we've heard this month about your mighty power. I pray that we would remember your power when times get hard and tough and difficult. And when we feel scared, that we would remember how powerful you are. We love you and I thank you for this time together. In your name, amen. Well guys, I had such a fun time hanging out with you in the clubhouse today. I hope to see you again next time. We'll see you then.